guys, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good today on this terrific Tuesday. Um, even though the weather is kind of cold, hey, I'm just blessed to actually see another day. Um, today my video is about me talking about being a hypersensitive, you know. <laughs> It's just so awful sometimes. It really is. Especially if you're already dealing with your own daily thing, just like everybody else. You know, your daily struggles. You know, you could be depressed or, you know, high anxiety or something. There's always something that can trigger off that. And I used to be really depressed. I used to really be depressed and dealing with all these different emotions plus dealing with the outside world's emotions too that can be really hard to deal with and I have had to try to find ways to be able to cope with it you know as my last video I was telling you about my experience on seeing my adopted father um there was things that I had to deal with that I thought I was completely over with I, I you know I, I was just like that like I've said in my other videos, that past vomit, you know, that past that you just thought that you were done dealing with and you thought you have gotten over. Obviously, if it, it pops up back in your mind, there's something that you're not, you know, you're not done with. And I thought that I have, you know, I was done. <laughs> I was actually done with being upset with my um, adopted father. I obviously, you know, I knew I had to let it go because I guess it was out of sight, out of mind because I hadn't dealt with him. So actually seeing him for that first time in almost a year, uh, and which is sad because we live in the same, you know, same city. But, you know, I, I said I'm good, you know, with everything that I know. I can't deal with somebody like that. You know, how would you be able to trust anybody like that again? I can forget. I mean, not forget, but forgive and love you from a, a thousand mile distance you know i can't deal with that anymore so now with me just you know everything that he, when i grew up things he's always told me you know like people will always do you know people that are envious of you will do things just to press your buttons just to see how you're going to react or you know if you're going to stand your ground or you're going to let them slide and i was you know there was sometimes i used to get intimidated by certain people and because of the things that I, you know, grew up dealing with, you know, I would be very intimidated, but it was, I guess it got to that point where I was dealing with that so much that it took me to snap and stay on my ground because I was so used to dealing with things. Like right now I'm dealing with something that, you know, I, I, you know, I pray to God, like, Lord, I want it to be over with. I am so tired of dealing with this, you know, this person or this situation, you know, because, I want to let go like I've looked at it for what it is and know, knowing that you know it's not it's not nothing anymore you know I just want to move on and get on with my life but there's there was a lesson that I had to get from it that I could not you know this person could leave me, me, me alone and I could leave that person alone I'm just like oh my gosh you know I'm just ready to move on you know I'm becoming to the point where I am more happy with myself, you know, and there's a lot of people that I deal with a certain page and I'm not going to put that page out because I, you know, I, I just don't do that. But when I feel down, I go to it because I, I feel like, you know, maybe if I can't answer my questions to the things that I, I, I really need to get done in life, maybe I can help somebody else, you know, and there's a lot of people that say, you know, do you miss your old self? And I'm like, uh -uh. I'm, I'm just... I'm like that T.I. and Justin Timberlake song, the old me is dead and gone. I'm good. <laughs> I don't even want that back. You know, I can look at it and think about the lessons that I've got from my life and how it has improved me as a person because I knew it took for me to have to go through this, for me to be starting to write, do these uh, motivational videos for me and whoever, you know, wants to listen to them. Because it makes me feel good about myself, you know, knowing that I have been through something like this, that I never, ever thought that I would be able to sit here and actually tell you guys without crying. Because, you know, there's a few videos that I would say certain things and it would trigger something. And now I can look at it and it's just like the things that I'm going through is not meant to hurt me. It's meant for me to learn from so I can be able to be a student and a teacher, 
you know, to be able to tell my testimony and be able to share it with other people. You know, life is not over. You know, if you hate what you're going through, you say, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. You know, we're not going to be happy with a significant other. We're not going to become happy with a friend or a lump sum of money or a new job. You have to be happy within yourself. And I had to learn that. You know, I had to be happy with myself. I was just like, why is everybody leaving me? Why am I always alone? And I had to learn to love myself. I said, shoot, I love being alone by myself, you know, because I used to say I do not like being alone with my thoughts because it was just so many things because I did not know where all these feelings were coming from, why I was feeling the way I was feeling, you know, I didn't know what an empath was. I just knew that I knew certain things and I didn't understand why I knew them. I, I couldn't express myself to certain people because a lot of people would be hurt if I knew that, okay, I, I've seen somebody like a couple of days before and I knew something was wrong and I, I couldn't, I didn't know what it was, but like I could see a glow around people, you know, um, at certain periods of time, I was just like, wow, you know, you got this angelic light around you and never knew what it meant. And the next thing you know, I hear about something tragic, you know, that's just sad. So it, it's just like being a hypersensitive, it could be a blessing and a curse at the same time, but you have to be willing to sacrifice and be willing to learn about yourself. If you, if you know that if you go into public places and you feel so nervous, like, oh my God, I can't deal with it. And I, I get like that sometimes. I do not like waiting in line for nothing. <laughs> I do not like waiting in line. I do not like when you're sitting there and somebody's having a complete conversation at the register and you got, you're just trying to get a pack of gum or you know, a lottery ticket, and you just want to go about your business, but somebody's having a complete conversation in front of you, and it irks your nerves. Or, you know, uh, somebody's driving in front of you, and they don't use a turning signal. It's just, I heard my daughter tell me about this yesterday, and it's just like, how long does it take to turn on the turning signal? <laughs> and I was just like, 1.9 second, why? And she was like, my point exactly. And I was like, oh my gosh, my daughters are starting to sound like me when they have road rage like that. And I just laugh about it. But it is just so many different experiences like has opened my eyes to make me appreciate what I have been through. And I am so happy for all the things I've been through. I used to cry and ask God, like, why am I being punished like this? I used to feel like I was being punished, you know? And it's like now when I turn around and I actually step outside my box and look at it for what it is, it's just like, uh, you, you know how sometimes you want something and you have one of those microwave uh, careers or you want a microwave lifestyle. You want everything right now. Nothing happens right now unless you're blessed like that, you know, and, and, it, and it, it, it's just like, I look at other people's blogs and stuff like that because I've, I've got a lot of people on my different playlists that I listen to and I enjoy watching their blogs and I'm just like, man, I want to be like you guys when I get older or, you know, I want to come up like you guys because I see, you know, they're doing it. They got these big, nice house tours and, you know, they're very confident in what they're talking about. They get these new, you know, these different um, things that they want to vlog about and I, I enjoy all of them. So, and it's just like, I can't hate on the journey that they're going through because I never knew how long, how, what sacrifices they had to make to get through all that. What did they have to do? How much money they had to spend? I can't get mad at these people if they put something up in two hours and they got, you know, uh, 23K already. I can't get mad at that because I'm just like, okay, you know, what the, what are they doing? What can I do to better myself so I can be able to do stuff like that? Because I'm actually happy with me actually saying something that ha does have nothing to do with fighting nobody, shooting nobody, or, you know, any of the, you know, the norm that you usually see on social media. It's not even about the bad mouth, you know, bad mouth anybody. I had no means to try to hurt my family. It's just the truth that needs to be out. The truth needs to be told about how Prince's daughter has been treated all these years, how she's been punished just because she was Prince's daughter. It's not my fault who my, my parents were, but I had got punished for that. But they didn't realize 
with everything I've known, you know, and found out, I guess they thought I was going to offer myself, which they have tried to, you know, they try to convince me to do, you know, like kill yourself, you know, the next time, don't leave a note, don't, you know, don't tell nobody, just let somebody find you, or, you know, just say some real jacked up stuff that makes you want to end your life because they want to keep that secret, and it's just, you only can hurt somebody so many times like you think god doesn't see that you know you can only hurt so many you know hurt somebody so many times before that you know that mess comes right back on you and i i wish them well i wish you know many blessings to you i don't wish any harm on them but i need for me to know the truth i need closure in my life i said you know it's like i tell a lot of people that we take for granted that a lot of people fight to get, you know, we, we take for granted life when people are struggling to make it every day. Like it's a struggle just to get out of bed in the morning. And then I always have to tell myself, you know what, be grateful that you're actually able to hear the birds outside, hear the honking and the, you know, and the shrieking of the cars, you know, even though it might annoy you, but be grateful for that because there's a lot of people that lost their hearing or lost their sight. They're not able to look at the sunrise or sunset in the morning. I, I'm very grateful for things like that. So all the things that I go through and I, you know, I share it with you guys because it's not like I'm trying to do a thing that's, that's getting rich here. I'm just trying to let you know that we all go through things in life. We all have our different battles we're fighting. We just got different devils that we're dealing with or different demons that we're dealing with that we're trying to get over. And I'm just letting you know it's never too late to turn around. When there's things that you know that you need to change about yourself or you notice there's a pattern that you keep going through, there's, there's some things that you need to change. Like I try to change myself every day. I don't want to be bitter about anything. I just want to be able to live my life, you know, and I just have to tell my thing, myself that things take time. You know, you have to be patient, and I'm, I'm a Taurus. <laughs> May 19th, I, I, I just, you know, I, I don't have patience at all. <laughs> and I had to learn that about myself, 12, 12. Um, I had to really learn that, that about myself, to have patience, you know, be grateful, be appreciative, you know, be lucky that you actually have angels that send you messages every day when you get into that comfort zone and thinking of things negative. I either try to do exercise, dance around, you know, go walking around because like right now I want to go outside, but it's so damn on cold outside and I don't know if it's going to rain or not because the weather here is just... It's just really crazy, but I want to go outside, but it's just, I, I'm not trying to get sick. <laughs> so I'm just trying to do some outside stuff, probably just go sit outside and just, you know, listen to nature for a while and see what, you know, answers I get, you know, um, I've, I've, the angels has been speaking to me above for me to go ahead and do something and I did. And, um, basically I'm praying that everything is okay, but they're telling me, yes, you did, you did the right thing. And everything will happen the way it's supposed to happen. And I know, I don't know if you guys ever felt lately like there's things turning around, but there's things turning around for the good. Like this year is like judgment. This is like a judgment year. Cause we had so much hell back last year. This year is judgment year. Like all the things, like I, I've uh, read up on things and um actually seen different videos i can't really remember i don't know if i saved it or not i gotta go check it out uh but like this is the year that if anybody has wronged you or like is really doing some really jacked up stuff like that's the reason why they put you know <laughs> trump in office and forgive me for saying that because i, I mean i have no problem with people that want to support trump hey that's you but this is what has been said. You know, this is what has been said. It's not from my mouth, so please don't kill the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. You know, they said that's the reason why they put him there. You know, because I said, are they using it? Because I said before, you know, if this man becomes the president, they're using him as a pawn. Because there is no way, you know, there is no way. He is about to disrupt a lot of stuff. So they're doing this for a reason. They're using him as an example. Like, right now, he's doing a lot of things a lot of people do not like. And they're saying that. So, they're saying that this year is to reap the harvest. It's like, the people that has done unjust things is about to be put to light. This, this stuff come out, you know. And 
I know no matter how time, you know, times get aggravating for me because I've been wanting to know since I was 15, since I found the, found out that I was adopted, I wanted to be with my family. And, you know, I felt guilty because I, you know, I did not know what to look for because my family just really didn't tell me too much at the time. They kept on telling me, oh, we didn't know, we didn't know. But then my mom just started speaking out on things and she really wanted me to know but she didn't have the information to give me so i'm just grateful of all the things i went through because i wouldn't be able to do this with you guys today so you know this is my experience i'm telling you about how it is this being a hypersensitive it has really made me a better person or made me know how to appreciate myself you know um because i used to take life for granted i didn't love life you know I went through so much things that I did not want to live anymore because I felt like I was unlovable. I did not want to be here anymore. I didn't want to feel this pain anymore. There's nobody that loved me knowing, you know, even though I've, I'm starting to experience the things that my dad is sharing with me, that he, you know, this is his gift of knowledge to me for me to know uh, what I need to know. And I'm very grateful for all the things that he showed me, even though it might have broke my heart to actually know this is what happened. And when I find my family and I'm going to ask them, you know, that these things go on, you know, that this happened, you know, I didn't know if, well, I'm conjuring up this in my head or thinking that because I'm just like, why would I want to even think those things? But you never know, you know, how the world works, how you know, our uh, spirit guides and our guardian angels uh, communicate with us. You, you have a few mind, you know, your your thoughts, your dreams, you know, certain things will flicker on and off. You know, you'll hear different noises. You know, uh, it could be something that you hold dear to from that person that might keep coming up or a phrase or something. So I'm very grateful and blessed for all the things that I have been experiencing as being hypersensitive or indigo or <laughs> empath or whatever you want to call it. But I'm very grateful for everything I go through. Sometimes it can be, it feels like a curse, but I'm blessed for everything I've went through. So I'm here to tell you today, you know, you might hate what you're going through, but just look at it as a different light. Look at it as a positive aspect. Even though you might be in a jacked up situation, look at it from a positive aspect. Maybe it is to guide you onto a better path that you need to be. So I hope everybody is having a good day and I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Peace and love. Light. Bye.